Well, we're getting some beneficial rain. In yeah, okay. Area. We don't have a pool, but yeah, we've got rain. Yay. No, we don't. And you don't want to jump in the pool this morning because we're looking at those showers and some thunderstorms moving in. We are looking at drier conditions this afternoon with just isolated storms popping up. But first alert radar right now throughout DFW quiet, but we do have the clouds in the area and notice this outflow just to our west. So that's going to bring us some gusty winds out ahead of the showers with Weatherford seeing some of that light rain. We're also tracking a couple of showers over towards the Greenville area headed into Quinlan, but where we have most of the activity that's still further back to the northwest now making its way into buoy. No severe thunderstorms, but we'll still get gusts of 20 to 30 miles an hour, lightning and heavy rain associated with this complex all the way down through Jacksboro. So this activity is headed over towards Decatur and it's moving east at about 40 miles an hour. So also Comanche waking up to some thunderstorms this morning around Stephenville. So Heiko, you guys are going to get some rain and then we'll continue to track a little bit further east over towards Hamilton. But you can notice that line all the way from southern Oklahoma and then extending back towards the Brownwood area. We are going to see most of this activity tracking close to the Red River. Pretty similar to where it is right now, and that's what we see here on First Alert Futurecast. I think this is a little bit behind on it, though. So this is still keeping the showers around into Denton and McKinney around 10 to 11 a.m., and then we'll start to see some of that activity strengthening a little bit once we get some of that daytime heating into East Texas. We could even see an isolated shower or thunderstorm still developing into the Metroplex close to 3, 2 to 3 p.m. before we get the skies clearing out behind that, and then quiet conditions through the overnight hours. But this is a look out at Arlington right now. Notice the clouds. They have really filled in throughout the morning. So it just looks very gray out there. We're at 83 degrees. It's still feeling very muggy outside. It feels closer to 92 right now. But that's where our actual air temperature is going to be this afternoon. We hit 101 yesterday. Today, we're just looking at the 90s because of the morning clouds and rain. And this high ridge of high pressure is shifted back to the west. Unfortunately, this is headed our way as we get into next week. And it will be sitting right over us Tuesday and Wednesday. So those are going to be our hottest days of the upcoming week. We're looking at 105 to 106. And then we'll still be with us into our Thursday and Friday. So that means we're not going to see any rain chances through the upcoming week. And that's unfortunate because that drought monitor has expanded further east. And we've also seen those conditions. Conditions worsening up to severe and then even dry now through the Dallas County area and then a little bit further eastward. But your first alert seven day forecast looking at those triple digits returning starting tomorrow. Hottest days Tuesday and Wednesday. We will be feeling close to 107 to 112 in the afternoon hours. And then rain chances are going to hold off until next weekend.